This is the Temescal Evening Evaporation System. Its main purpose is uh, the position of thin films of metals, uh, usually tens to hundreds of nanometers thick. Um, and it's a, a relatively quick deposition system. After you load your samples, it takes about 20 minutes to, lo to uh, pump down the load block. And usually your process will only take, uh, from start to finish, about 45 minutes perhaps up to an hour, it depends a little bit on what the position you're doing. There are six metals available at a time. You can see which ones are currently in the machine, on the side of the machine. And you can also look in, in Lab Manager to see what's currently available. However, uh, if you want to make sure that the metals you want are present when you need them, please send an email to us. Uh, send the email to metal at dentip.dcu.bk. And also, please write to us if you need to deposit a thick layer, more than 600 nanometers of the same material, because we need to make sure that there's enough material in the machine so you don't run out during your deposition. When you arrive at the instrument, you're gonna need to vent it. Once it's vented, uh, you will see that inside of the load block, we have the cooler, sample holder system. Uh, it's a rotation system with planetary motion, which ensures very uniform deposition on your samples. Um, we have a variety of different sample holders. You can put in six inch wafers directly. Um, and with an insert, you can put in four inch wafers, and you can also put in small uh, sample bits. And uh, apart from the hula, we, we also have a sample holder for holding up to three eight-inch wafers. So please ask us for that if you need to deposit on eight-inch wafers. The standard here is up to six inches. And we also have a sample holder for tilting the samples. So if you need to do a deposition uh, on a tilted um, wafer, then you can use this one for up to six inch wafers. The principle of heating and evaporation is that we're using an electron beam to heat a material, uh, and that material then evaporates. And the evaporation takes place actually in the bottom of the chamber that's down here, below the, the load lock part. Um, there's a, a heat which has six pockets. And uh, it's a copper heat. It's quite heavy and it's water cool. Um, and in each pocket, we have a, a different metal. And then next to the heat, uh, and below it a little bit, there is a, a filament block where uh, you, you send a very high power through a tungsten filament. And the filament emits electrons that are then uh, directed onto the metal and heated up. And during your deposition, you're going to see the electron beam sweeping across the material, and that's because uh, we control the, the position with uh, magnets in the filament block, and those uh, can then move the beam so that you heat the material uniformly. One of the points of the electron beam evaporation is that the evaporation is line of sight. That means that the, the deposition happens in a straight line from the source to, to your wafers. And the, so if you put your, your samples inside of the cooler, um, they are completely uh, perpendicular to, to the evaporation direction, so you will get uh, no deposition on sidewalls of your structures.